Home Shop 2024 boasts several exciting new features designed to enhance both creative possibilities and workflow efficiency. In this video, I will show you the top new features of Photoshop 2024. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to watch more tutorials like this. So let's get started with the tutorial. So the first feature I want to mention is the removal tool. The new improved removal tool in Photoshop 2024 has received significant upgrades compared to previous versions. So it is available in the toolbar panel. Here you will see uh, this remove tool is available in the group of spot healing brush. Just select this removal tool, select uh, short key is J. And uh, simply you just loop around the object. And uh, Photoshop then anal analyze the surrounding area and uh, intelligently fill the gap. You will see you're making objects removal faster and more precise. Let's check another example. And here, this is so much easy to use. Just loop around the object. And it is removed now let's check another example and here in the up, uh, option bar you will see some uh, options of overlay option here you can change the color of the overlay option and you can increase the opacity as well and must select the sample all layers here i'm just going to select Another new feature is generative pull. So it is now out of beta, so you can use it commercially. Generative pull in Photoshop, it's very powerful tool that utilizes artificial intelligence to manipulate and modify images in creative and realistic ways. So here in this picture, I'm going to uh, create uh, some images to show you how to use the generative pull. So go to toolbar and here I'm going to select the lasso tool or you can use the marquee tool. So just select the marquee tool and just create a boundary draw. And here you will see uh, this contextual taskbar will appear and uh, click the generate and write up front here. You can write any prompt. I just write a, a dolphin here, only one word and hit generate. And here you will see this AI power tool allows you to seamlessly fill in the missing areas or expand your canvas with content that realistically uh, blend with the existing image. So simply select an area, your image and describe that what you want to add using a text prompt. So generative fill will analyze the surrounding and here you will see it will analyze the surroundings and uh, it will create uh, this dolphin. The next new feature is Generative Expand is a powerful new feature and it will Photoshop 2024 that allows you to seamlessly extend the background of your image using artificial intelligence. So here I'm just going to select the crop tool in the toolbar panel and uh, just go to option bar and here by default there is background default selected. Just select the fill area is Generative Expand and now just going to uh, select the crop tool, hold option key and here it is. You are going to expand. This means you can take an image, hit enter. And it's this way means that you can take an image that's too small or has an unwanted composition. You can add more background content to it all while maintaining a realistic natural look. Now, guys, you will see it expand the image similar to uh, the edges of your image while maintaining the style and consistency of the original content and here you will see the variations uh, whether you want to select any one from it uh, let's take another example uh, if uh, you want to crop this image for your instagram so just select the ratio here like square ratio and uh, i'm going to make increase it and hit enter you would see uh, this feature extend the edges of your image 
the maintaining the style and uh, analyze the surrounding pixels and generate a seamlessly uh, blend lighting color perspective perfect here you will see the three options and you can generate more options if you want let's take another example in this uh, in this picture you will see the hands are cut out and uh, let's see i'm just going to select the crop tool and change the ratio from like original ratio and i'm going to expand this a little bit more bigger now guys here you will see uh photoshop generate hand and here you will see and there is more options if you want to generate more options and this one is good this option is good and you want to generate more so here you hit generate and it will give you more options it will generate more options but uh, i think this one is uh, good so we will make it final so here the new lens blur filter offers a dedicated panel for applying realistic optical quality blur and look effect so here you will see this effect in the filters you will go to filter and uh, here you will select the camera raw filter just go to the right side uh, panels here uh, in the tool panel here you will find the lens blur option and hit apply and uh, here you will see the early access so here you will see the blur amount so you can control the blur intensity from here and uh, here you will see just the bouquet type what you want lots of options here and here you will fine tune the focal range using ai powered subject detection and depth maps another new feature of photoshop 2024 is a parametric filter which is now available in photoshop beta so go to adobe creative cloud app and here you will find beta apps and here you will download photoshop beta from here to use this filter so simply just go to filter and here use parametric filter so here you will see choose your uh, different filter choose the desired filter you want and it is very easy exciting feature currently available in beta version so they offer a non-destructive way to apply various stylized effects so i'm going to select this chromatic variation and here you will see uh, alongside the image uh, contains sliders color pickers and other controls to allow you to fine tune the filter parameters so i'm going to reduce the intensity blur intensity glow intensity and you can move uh, these sliders to uh, make image perfect what you want let's check another filter go to filter parametric filter and i'm going to apply the glitch effect here directly where it is this glass filter another filter go to parametric and uh, filter glitch i'm going to reduce the glitch density it's super easy to use uh, this new parametric filter which is available in photoshop beta apply do tone check another black and white and there is the sliders you can use these sliders to reduce the texture and all good let's check another the oil paint Three. now guys it's up to you you can use uh, these properties 
in the parametric properties panel you can use these sliders to set these values and they, these are all the parametric filters you can use it which is very easy another new feature of photoshop 2024 is the contextual taskbar and here you will find this contextual taskbar outside it's a floating menu that appears at the bottom center of the document window by default and if you'll not find this contextual taskbar just go to windows and here you will find this contextual taskbar you will enable from here and uh, here it is very easy to use this contextual taskbar very handy feature that helps you streamline your workflow by presenting relevant actions based on your current selections for example here i'm going to remove the background so quickly i'm just going to select subject and reverse the selection here you will see downside they will provide lots of options here so and here i'm going to change a background and create some uh, new background so for example i'm just going to type forest right uh, front here and hit generate and it is very quick and easier you will see downside there it will provide the options it shows the buttons for commonly used commands related to your current selections so for example if you are using this crop tool and uh, here uh, it adapts dynamically over the buttons change depending uh, what you are doing so you always have the most relevant tools at your fingertips here uh, you will see it will show the generative expand option downside it is very easy to use i'm going to change it that like uh, original aspect ratio or here it is and just click generate this is super easy to use uh, the tools with the help of contextual taskbar bar. here it is and for example uh, is there any text written over here i'm just going to type any text for example i'm already going to write a photoshop 2024 for example photoshop i'm going to increase and here you will see this contextual taskbar which is uh text layer selected you might see the options for changing the font size color and here you will uh, hide and pin the bar anywhere here you will find all the options you can change the color of the text and increase the size of the text Now guys, you can pin this taskbar to any viewer like uh, if you want to pin it here, just select pin bar position. You can uh, hide this bar, reset the bar positions. So there are lots of more easy options. Now guys, this is all about how to use Photoshop 2024 new features. I hope you like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe my channel Digital Creations. Thanks for watching.